I think we're seeing racism in the campaign. Uh, there's um, a friend of mine wrote a book called Dog Whistle Politics. Yes. Um, and he chronicles how the elites decided to use symbolic uh, racial stereotypes to actually restructure the economy. Not because they were racist, but it, because it gave them more power. Uh, and I've written something recently of what I, I call from dog whistle to bullhorn. We're back at, we're not using dog whistles anymore. And you know when you have a dog whistle, you blow it. Uh, we don't hear it. Humans don't hear it. The dogs do. And what he was saying is that people use symbols and words to actually activate certain populations. Those words, but they had to be subtle. They had to be deniable. This is not about race. This is about food stamps. This is not about race. This is about welfare. This is not about race. It was always about race. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if that's racism. Also, I think we actually don't really understand the role of race in our society. And I think we have to have that discussion. I'll give you two examples. Uh, how many of you know that slavery in the United States ended in 1945? OK. Uh, not many. So, uh, and uh, how many of you know that slavery never ended in the United States? <laughs> All right. Now, small thing, 13th Amendment, which is the amendment supposed to end slavery. If you read it, go and read it tonight, it says, involuntary service who uh, shall be unlawful in the United States, United States, except we don't pay attention to the except. And what the except was when someone's duly convicted for a crime, which leads to mass incarceration, which leads back to slavery.